Welcome to ACE Teachers Online, a series of tutorials aimed to help students. My name is Sumed, and today I'll be going through the idea of an equilibrium constant from acidic environment. So today we'll be going through the idea of equilibrium. Now this is quite a tricky question because it is from a acidic environment, but the concept of equilibrium constant is something that we haven't actually covered yet. So today we'll be going through an equilibrium question. Now here we have your general equation for an equilibrium question where we have reactants A and B with a molar ratio of small a and small b reacting to form big C, big D with the molar ratio of C and D. Now we're going to go through a new concept today called an equilibrium constant. Now what an equilibrium constant does is it tells us what is the position of this equilibrium, whether it is more towards the products or whether it is more towards the reactants. So here, the way we do it is it's the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So in this situation, it'll be the concentration of C to the power of the molar ratio of C, which is C, small c, here multiplied by concentration of D to the power of small d, all over concentration of b to the power of small b, multiplied by concentration of a to the power of small a. Now, if we have a very large k value, what that does is it tells us the equilibrium lies towards the products. If we have a very small k value, it tells us it lies more towards the reactants. Now, our question for today is, we have been given an equation here. We have HF reacting with C2O42 minus, forming F minus and H2C2O4, and we've been asked to calculate what is the equilibrium constant. We have been given K1 for this reaction, HF giving H plus and F minus as 7.0 times 10 to the minus 4, and we've been given K2 for this reaction, H2C2O4, giving H plus and C2O42 minus. Now what we need to do in any question about equilibrium constant is, first step, write out such an equilibrium expression for this equation. So this K that is the K for this equilibrium equation. So what we now need to do is we need to look at this equation and think, how can I use the terms from this equation and this equation into this equation? So our next step again is to write the same equilibrium expression for K1 and for K2. So now we have written the expression for K1 and K2. We now need to have a look at K1, K2, and see how they interact to give us K. So first thing we can see is there's a H2C2O4 here. There's a C2O42 minus here. There is also a C2O42 minus here and a H2C2O4 here. However, these are an inverse of what they are there. So in other words, we need to do an inverse of K2 to get K. At the same time, there is an F minus squared there, only an F minus here. There's a HF squared, but only a HF here. So what that means is we need to square K1 to help us give K. Okay? So what we do is we do K1 squared multiplied by 1 on K2, and that gives us So that is what K1 squared multiplied by 1 on K2 gives us. Now if we look here, H plus squared and H plus squared, we can cancel out, leaving F minus squared multiplied by H2C2O4 all over HF squared multiplied by C2O42 minus, which is the exact same as K. So as seen over here, because both H pluses cancel out, what that means is F minus squared H2C2O4 all over HF squared multiplied by C2O42 minus is the same as K1 squared multiplied by 1 over K2, which is the same as the K value over there. As a result, K equals K1 squared multiplied by 1 over K2, which is equivalent to 7.0 times 10 to the minus 4 squared all over 1 divided by 4.0 times 10 to the minus 6, now we plug that into the calculator, we get 0.12. Now this value of 0.12 means that this equilibrium expression lies more to the right than both this one and this one because 
0.12 is greater than both K1 and K2. As a result, more products are formed in a way from this reaction than both of these reactions. And that is what is really important about the equilibrium constant. Thank you for watching today's video. If you wanted to see the previous video in the series, please click here. If you wanted to see the next video, click here. If you wanted to visit our website, please click on the link below.